hi welcome back to my channel today i want some parfait but i do not have store-bought granola i do not have granola for this parfait let's make granola with what i can find in my pantry first i have some sugar in the pot now i'll keep tossing and turning this sugar till it melts i wouldn't be adding water to the sugar i just allow it melt till it caramelizes by caramelizing, I mean it turns brown. You see for yourself. So this is just an easy and quick granola recipe. Anybody can do it. You can do it and you can save some funds as well. And for the most part, it's just fun making your own meal yourself. Let's continue with the caramelizing of the sugar. You can see it's caramelizing, it's brown, and I keep turning it. Now I'm going to be adding some butter. All the good stuff butter does, that is what this butter is going to do for me in this caramelized sugar. It will also help with the whole granola texture, taste, and it is amazing. It will also add some shine to the granola. So I turn it and I'm keep, keep turning the butter till it melts. It's melting and it is okay. Now the next thing, we set it aside while still heating in the oven. And then I have some oat. This is whole oat. Two and a half cups of whole oat. I put the oat in the bowl and then I have to add the caramelized sugar. One of the things that happens to sugar when it is outside heat is it congeals quickly. So after melting my sugar and getting it caramelized, the caramelized sugar is congealed at this point. It's congealing, not thoroughly, but almost congealed. So when I try to stir it as I'm doing now, I'm stirring it, but it is not going around the whole oats. It's just like lumpy, some parts of the oats has sugar, some parts do not have sugar. So if you do this, be sure you get the same result. So what should you do? What you have to do is stir the whole oat in sugar right under some heat. So it's best I put it back into the pot, set up the heat just a little heat like medium heat and allow the sugar melt and then i stir the oat together that is the best thing to do at this point so i have properly stirred it under the heat and it went round next we put the whole oats the caramelized whole oats into a baking pan or any of the pans that you take into the oven I spread it out nicely so when they get into the oven the heat will go around evenly when it's in the oven i turn it from time to time like stir it and this is what i have now it's quite hot don't mind that i'm using my hands to touch it i then add some raisins fair raisins and dark raisins remember this is what i can see or can find from my pantry i am making this granola with what I can find in my pantry and they are just the four ingredients. I have to separate it. I am separating the granola because with the sugar, it's quite sticky and congealed. So this is what I have now. I wanted parfait, as I said earlier. Now I can have my parfait because granola is available now. I put the granola in some container, make it an airtight container. I can have my parfait now with some yogurt, chunks of apple, and then the homemade granola. Will you be trying this granola recipe? It's just four ingredients. Please like my video, share, and also subscribe to my channel. See you next time.